also gonna put shoes on tomorrow for the first time in two weeks. This is my last full day here. You saw my videos yesterday because I've tried to make videos every day while I've been here. So tomorrow, I guess tomorrow's day 14. So this must be day 13. A traveler's Amen still to Lego. So I still do have work. I'm just procrastinating right now. And you can see that I am editing a video for my YouTube. At this point, I've had three tests over the course of me being here, plus the one at the airport when I arrived. Pudong Airport is further away because I'm really on the outskirts. It took well over an hour to get here to this hotel from the airport so tomorrow is actually going to be a long day considering that it is a two hour flight potentially I'll be out of here at this time tomorrow and I won't be arriving there until I think it's five o'clock and then I'm going into more isolation so however long and like I don't know the process I've got another week in the hotel so this is even more motivation to keep filming look they change the rules all the time and that's fine I certainly am not bothered about it I just want to know as a foreigner to just at this point like I'm leaving tomorrow and I don't really know what's going to happen when I arrived in Shanghai and this whole process of being here for the two weeks I felt like I had an idea of what was going to happen and from what I filmed, from what you can see on my channel, it seems to pretty much align with what others have said. Potentially I'm just going to be dropped off, not escorted. <laughs> and it's not that I'm like I really want the freedom, I literally just want the food. I want access to western food. Yeah, I'm pretty much packed. I know it looks like a disaster because I really just been throwing stuff in because this is still a whole food bag because again I'm still going to the next isolation and then tomorrow morning I'm going to have my last shake for this place <laughs> and then I'm putting my shake container in my carry-on I also have some shake sachets there. I'm also going to put shoes on tomorrow for the first time in two weeks. Now I've sort of arranged it so I have these items which, which I use every day. I'm just trying this out. They had it on the Boxing Day sale and it's actually been quite, quite alright this misting toner. I never would have bought it otherwise. So this has been my sort of years where I dry my dishes. <laughs> this is still the laundry soap that they gave us. I've been using this as my dish soap. Oh I cut up my sponge because basically I'm just washing this all the time and then up plate. If you haven't seen my video on how I made my body wash with the teak like the bars then please check that out. I'll link it in the description box below. The internet's been absolutely horrible. I don't think really said that enough so that's also why I got back to editing a video because that's something I can do without internet so whatever your activity is or your project make sure it's something you can do without internet this is where yeah having an e-reader having a real book would be beneficial because there are definitely times and it is very frustrating like even this video I'm making, I'm like, oh, I kind of want to make the thumbnail, but I need the internet for that, so... It's certainly been a welcome to China moment, going, oh yeah, that's right, the internet is horrible, but yeah, it just seems to be particularly bad in these hotels, so it is, it is something to pay heed to. And you just got to have some patience, sometimes I've disconnected, reconnect to my VP, enjoy the rest of your day, this is the last day in quarantine, please check out my other videos because I have been making them every day to give me something to do. <laughs>